Let's prepare on properties of fluids. So today we are going to start with a new subject that is fluid mechanics. So in the first chapter we will be seeing the properties that is the very basic properties of the fluids. So from this only most of the questions will be asked and some simple uh, numerical questions also will be asked with this properties only. So before going into the properties let us see what are the categories of this fluid mechanics. Okay so here fluid statics, fluid kinematics and fluid dynamics are there. So statics means it is the study of fluid at rest and kinematics means when the fluid has velocity and acceleration and the force is not considered without a force means that study is called as fluid kinematics and with force means it is called as fluid dynamics okay so fluid is always a function of space and time so here first let us start with this basic formula that is Newton number so here Newton number is equal to lambda by L where lambda is the mean free path. So it is nothing but the average distance that the particle of that the molecule of the fluid can travel between the collisions that is the mean free path divided by the characteristic length of that flow. So when it is uh, less than 0 0.01 so it is less than okay. So it is not considered because the concept of continuum of the fluid no so it does not hold good when the value is very lesser so we do not consider that value when it is between 0 0.01 to 0 0.1 it is considered as a slip flow when it is between 0.1 to 10 it is considered as a transition flow when it is greater than 1 it is a free molecule flow. The next thing is the mass density or we can call it as density as symbol also. So we denote it with a symbol rho. So the mass of the matter that is occupied in the unit volume. So this is only the definition for the mass density. So mass divided by volume that is only the formula. The unit is kilogram per meter cube and the dimensional unit we can also study it is m. L minus 3 okay so M means it denotes the kilogram and L means it denotes meter no so here it is M L minus 3 so this also will be asked in the objective questions. So this is usually measured with the help of pyctometer and hydrometer only and then the value so these values are very very important they will be asking this also. So here for air it is 1.2 for water it is 1000 kilogram per meter cube everything is given in kilogram per meter cube and mercury it is 13600 so these three values are very important if you are not studying all six also you should be thorough of these three okay and for steel it is 7850 for wood it is 600, for gold it is 19,600 kilogram per meter cube. So this is about your mass density or density. So with respect to temperature and pressure if we study means when the temperature increases the mass density decreases and also when the pressure increases the mass density increases. Okay, So it is directly proportional to pressure and inversely proportional to the temperature. So this is also very important. The next thing is the specific weight or weight density. So this is the weight of the matter per unit volume. So that is the difference here. So it is weight by volume. Whereas in the previous case we saw mass by volume. No, So this weight can be expanded as mass into gram. Weight is equal to mg. So mg by volume. So here m by v means what? It is again the rho which we saw before mass density. So this uh, weight that is specific weight can be equated to rho g okay so this is always denoted as gamma so gamma is equal to rho g is a relation between this mass density and specific weight so the unit of this specific weight is newton per meter cube and the dimensional unit is m l power minus 2 t power minus 2 so here also these values are very important for air it is 11.77 newton per meter cube okay for this alone it is written as newton per meter cube whereas for all other values it is given as kilo newton per meter cube and for water we know that it is 9.81 or generally they will be taking 10 kilo newton per meter cube and for mercury it is 133.4 steel 77 
wood 5.9 and gold 192.3 so here also uh, with respect to temperature pressure and gravity we uh, equate or we relate this specific weight so when the temperature increases the specific weight decreases when the pressure increases the specific weight increases so this is same as the previous one because we know that rho is uh, gamma is equal to rho g so obviously both will be having the same uh, relation with temperature and pressure okay and with the especially with gravity alone you have to study here because it is added here no so gamma is equal to rho g so it is also directly proportional so when the gravity increases the gamma value also increases the next thing is the specific volume so it is denoted as vs it is just the inverse of 1 by rho that is your uh, density okay so 1 by rho is nothing but meter cube per kilogram will be a unit here so here specific gravity it is nothing but the ratio of the density to the density of that water having same volume so it is rho by rho of water so we know the value for rho of water it is 1000 kilogram per meter cube in terms of kilogram per meter cube means it is 1000 so in terms of kilo newton per meter cube means it is 9.81 or 10 okay so here we know the rho value for other materials also because for air mercury and all we have studied no so for air it is 1.2 so 1.2 divided by 1000 you will be getting 0 0.0012 and mercury we have studied as 13600 so it is 13.6 here for water it is 1000 by 1000 only so it is 1 okay so with respect to that you can find the value of the specific gravity of all these value okay so when s is equal to 1 when the specific gravity of the fluid is equal to 1 it is a water okay and when it is less than 1 means it is lighter than the water see here fluid means it not only means the water or liquid fluid means it also means the gas also gas and liquid only will come under the category of fluids okay so when s is lesser it means that the object is lighter than the water when s is greater than one it is heavier than the water so this relation gives you an idea how we can find the material with respect to the specific gravity also the next thing is the viscosity so viscosity means we know it is the resistance to shear so when the particles of the fluid moves there will be a resistance between each and every particles so this only creates the viscosity in the fluids so what is the main cause of this viscosity means it is cohesion and collision cohesion means in case of the liquid so cohesion between the water molecules or liquid molecules will give you the viscosity and collision means in gas molecules we term it as collision of the gas particles so this is only called as transfer of molecular momentum so when the rate of molecular momentum transfer is more then the viscosity will be more accordingly then we are going to see about the newton's law of viscosity so here they tell that it is the shear stress is directly proportional to the shear strain that is tau is proportional to theta which can be equated as tau is equal to mu into theta so this mu is nothing but it is coefficient of viscosity so we'll be seeing that in detail later okay so now you can use this as a constant here tau is equal to mu into theta and for a newtonian fluid it is directly proportional but for non-newtonian fluid tau and theta are not linearly related and then this tau can be also equated to force by area so when two plates are considered this case will be occur so this also we keep it in your mind okay so we know that tau is equal to mu is mu into du by dx so this du by dx it is nothing but it is equal to d theta by dt only so theta this only we studied before tau is proportional to theta so this theta is nothing but it is u by y okay so in fluids particularly in fluids this tau will be proportional to d theta by dt which is also equal to du by dy so this d theta by t dt dt is nothing but the rate of shear strain du by dy is nothing but the velocity gradient so this formula is only very important which we will be using in all the problems tau is equal to mu into du by dy so keep this formula in your mind okay so this is your velocity profile as i told you know uh, the velocity of the particle will be changing accordingly so that only the viscosity is occurred here okay so here if you see means this will be your velocity u and this will be the y value so at the starting when y is equal to 0 u is also equal to 0 okay but when the y increases 
u also increases that is the velocity increases so at one stage if it is u means in the next stage it will be u plus du so the velocity increases so that the viscosity is occurred due to the change in the velocity or shear resistance between the fluid particles okay so now let us study the dimensional uh, quantity for this tau mu and all so here for tau it is shear stress m l power minus 1 t power minus 2 so here dynamic viscosity is denoted as mu so for which the unit is equal to pascal second or newton second per meter square so keep all these units in mind because several times they have repeatedly asked this unit alone in the exams okay so this have some five different uh, units that is it is expressed in different terms that's all so pascal second or newton second per meter square or kilogram per meter second or poise or time second by meter square okay so one poise is equal to 0.1 pascal second or you can write it as 0.1 newton second per meter square so this is the relation between poise and pascal so it is normally 0.1 into kilogram per meter second so the dimensional unit is m l power minus 1 t power minus 2 so this is very very important so m l power minus 1 t power minus 2 is the dimensional quantity of this dynamic dynamic viscosity the next thing is the kinematic viscosity so here it is denoted as nu which is equal to dynamic viscosity by mass density it is mu by rho okay so here the unit is meter cube per second or stoke so one stoke is equal to centimeter one centimeter square by second or it is equal to 10 power minus 4 meter per second so this also they have asked several times this is very important and the dimensional quantity is l square t into t power minus 1 and then we are going to see how it depends on the temperature and pressure okay for liquids mu and nu will be inversely proportional to the temperature so for liquids and gases like that we can separately study so it will be easy for you so mu and nu will be inversely proportional to temperature that is when temperature increases these both will decrease okay and with respect to pressure it does not vary so pressure don't have any effect on these mu and nu then in the case of liquids the next thing we are going to see is gases so in gases they both are directly proportional to the temperature so when temperature increases mu and nu will be increasing and when you are taking pressure mu does not vary at all but nu that is the kinematic viscosity will be inversely proportional to the pressure thank you and keep watching for the continuation of properties